free man stood against a tyrant, that few stood against many. Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I run DCS without Steam VR. This is my open XR video. So here we go. I'm going to open uh, the Windows Makes Reality Portal and let me show you my settings. The startup settings are all disabled. So right here you can see they're all shut down and the input switching I, I have it set to manual. That way it doesn't start when I don't want it to. All the other settings are the same so nothing changed. And uh, that's how I have my Windows Makes Reality settings. Now I'm going to show you the instructions. This is what I follow and I put a link on the description to get to this page. This is the instructions that I follow. There's really three easy steps. And if you want to keep scrolling down, there's a lot more steps, but this is what I follow, there's three steps. The first thing, the Open Composer. The Open Composer is a program that uh, lets you switch between OpenXR and SteamVR. So you download the file and here's the option. You can click it and switch from Open Composer to or SteamVR. And I have all these other files that I've been using and trying to uh, use all this time, but at the end I found out that there are two different types, the 32-bit and the 64-bit. So I created those two folders and here you can see you can download the file 32-bit or 64-bit. These are all the other steps that I didn't follow, so you don't have to worry about that. Just follow this video and you'll be fine. This is the file that you get when you click any of those. This is, there is the, uh, the exact same file. They are the exact same file. You just have to try them both and see which one will work. Uh, so you basically find your bin folder and find your path and once you find a bin folder this is my path with steam uh, just drop the file there so these are all the files that are in the bin folder and from here is where you will start DCS so I'm gonna go to the 32 bit copy paste and drag it over there and it will ask you to replace it and then you replace it. I already did it so I'm just gonna skip the file. So once you're done uh, try to launch uh, DCS and see if it works. If it doesn't then go back and use the 64-bit file. It's exact the, the file is the same it's just one is 64, the other one is 32 bit. DCS should launch as soon as you find the right file. The other thing they're suggesting is to use this tool to clean and repair DCS. This tool is uh, mm. faulty for me, never worked. It never worked for me before or now. I tried to clean and every time I clean it, and it, you can see here, it gives me an error, so. I didn't do that. So this is just dropping the file into the bin folder and launching DCS. It's pretty easy and basic. So here's open the uh, open XR tool that I'm not really too familiar with. This video is just to get you started with DCS. And if you encounter the black screen problem, I will show you how to fix it. So uh, eventually later on, when I get familiar with all the settings, I will uh, make a video about it. But right now it's just about starting DCS. So I'm gonna go to the bin folder, let me close this, and you just 
right click and open DCS. I'm going to put here the uh, VR uh, view that way you can see both at the same time launching at the same time. So I'm just waiting for it to boot and let me start the uh, VR camera right now. Okay, so this is what's happening simultaneously on the desktop, desktop and in on my HP Reverb U2 at the same time. <clears throat> and then that's it, you can see that it works. It's launching um, DCS. And again, I'm not familiar with all the settings yet. Let me uh, get the settings from OpenXR up here. Um, I gotta read and research all this. Once again, this video is just about getting DCS started. And I have no idea what all this means, but eventually I will play with them and make a video about my settings and hopefully it will give you some kind of a notion of what kind of settings you can use with your computer. So this is what happens sometimes when you try to launch the game and you get a black screen. It's all about pixel density. If it's not one, it's gonna get you it's gonna give you a black screen on your headset. So there you go, I'm gonna set up to zero 05 and I'm gonna hit OK. So DCS will start automatically as soon as you change the pixel density. So right now this is it starting. I'm not gonna stop it. I'm just gonna let you see what happens. And you should have a black screen where my VR camera is. So the headset tries and tries to start, but nothing happens. So you can see the things on the screen, the preview on the monitor, but you can see that my VR camera is completely black. So if this happens to you, just, just got to go back into your settings and set back the pixel density to one and then uh, try to launch it with uh, OpenXR. So here I'm gonna put it back to 1.0, hit OK and it should start. Let me see. I don't want to edit or cut the video, it takes a long time, but I just want you to see that it works, or it works for me. And there it is. So that black screen is fixed just by that click of the pixel density slider. Always keep it at 1.0 and you'll be fine. So now, uh, let me see if we can do a test of all this uh, settings but uh, right now the problem is that I have no idea what this means so uh, let me just show you how the uh, OpenXR looks with the uh, default settings and DCS I'm gonna start a quick mission here and let's do this one and uh, let's see what happens. This is my first time ever using OpenXR. Okay, so it looks okay. It looks pretty decent, but I can see the counter is 21 
20, 21 frames per second. Yep. 20 frames per second, which is, I will say, it's not good at all. But again, I have a mess with the settings and I had to increase the pixel density to 1.0. That's why I'm getting only 20 frames per second. So, but everything looks pretty good so far. So let me uh, turn on the setting so you can see that it's working and show you the the different settings that you can have. There is uh, there is all kinds of settings in there. That man, I will have to yeah. I'll do that a reading, a lot of reading about that and see uh, how can I improve those frames per second. So the other thing looks pretty cool. Now uh, let me go test the F16. See how that looks. So I'm gonna store this. And again I don't wanna cut or edit this so you can see that it's actually happening. I haven't seen this on any video. Nobody knows or nobody shows how to start DCS. It's been a couple months of me trying to find the right answer. Here I'm getting 30 frames per second and they match with uh, OpenXR. And the camera, the movement looks pretty good. I would imagine so if I, as soon as I get into the city or lower. Focus one one bra three two one four seventy at thirty five thousand hot. As soon as I get into the city or lower. Focus one one bra three two zero four seventy at thirty five thousand hot. This frame per second will go really really low so. I'm high up in the mountains, there's no cities or rivers or nothing, so... Sometimes it looks a little different and it's like it bends the corners of the wings sometimes. Um, but yeah, hopefully eventually I will get to uh, increase this frame per second with the settings inside OpenXR. All right, I think that's it. I hope this helps and uh, give it a try and uh, hopefully uh, this helps you somehow. Thanks for watching. Fly safe.